The purpose of this showreel is to provide some real-life examples of lithium battery fires and illustrate the different ways the fires present in the different devices. First, here are some examples of typical smaller device lithium battery fires which have been featured on YouTube and in the news. Mobile phone fires. A standard mobile phone comes with a built-in safety device which will usually switch it off at about 40 degrees centigrade. But if, for example, the phone was left in the sun on a car dashboard, it will continue to heat up until it catches a light. Mobile phones contain a small lithium battery, typically 60 watt hours or less. E-cigarettes. These contain a cylindrical cell battery. There is virtually no warning. They almost seem to spontaneously ignite. This can be particularly dangerous when kept in a pocket. Power banks. These devices contain larger size cell batteries, typically 4 times 21700s, which can charge a phone three or four times. That amount of stored energy can cause quite a significant fire if the power bank is in a bag or pocket. A lithium battery powering a laptop is usually between 60 and 100 watt hours and is capable of spraying debris across the office, so is likely to set other areas of the room on fire too. Electric scooter fire. There is more warning with this as smoke is emitted first, but it still erupts into a fire quickly. The lithium battery is in region of 500 to 750 watt hours. Electric scooters are now banned on TFL network due to fire risk and regular fire incidents which have taken place. E-bikes. These can have up to a kilowatt hour lithium battery. Just like the e-scooter, the fire starts by emitting smoke first. Using a garden hose to spray the battery with water doesn't make any difference to the fire. It just keeps going. And now for some larger fires involving a recycling centre, a battery energy storage system, BESS, and a couple of electric vehicles. The recycling centre. All lithium battery devices have built-in obsolescence, so once they have been through up to 1,000 cycles of recharging the battery, will need to be replaced. It's worth noting that this is also true for electric vehicles so the number of batteries and devices which are going through recycling centres is ever increasing. Powder extinguishers are often used on large lithium battery fires in recycling centres, but these are ineffective, so the battery will continue to reignite. 0.7 litres of smoke is generated per battery watt-hour, therefore a 6.5 watt-hour battery will generate at least 5 litres of smoke. Next is a video showing testing of the fire hazard of a 125 kilowatt hour energy storage system comprised of lithium nickel oxide, lithium manganese oxide batteries. The fire smokes for a long time, but once the flames break through, the whole container is destroyed due to propagation of thermal runaway from pack to pack. In China, there was one of these container fires per month last year. Electric vehicle fires can reignite hours, days, or even weeks after being extinguished. So the key question is, when is a fire out? The fire brigade struggled to douse the fire even using 3,000 gallons of water. Fire Chief, making the world a safer place.